So tip one, taking responsibility and building resilience. Guilt, shame and despair have a negative impact on our mental health. Aged care workers, health professionals and all of us are prone to these feelings when we feel obliged to work harder or meet demands and obligations that are sometimes self-generated and sometimes not even expected or should be expected from us. It's important we take out our expectations and face reality, head on as it is. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from challenges and mental resilience is like building muscles in our brain, similar to when we exercise or go to the gym to build muscles on our bodies. Humans are not stagnant, we're not stagnant beings in any sense, and our mental health will fluctuate, that's okay. Having the necessary tools to combat negative mental states is what I believe having good mental health is about, being resilient. That's why it's important to leave the blame game. For example, depression and anxiety are not our fault, but they are our responsibility. We do need to address the issues and remove focus from fault and blame to solutions. When we get stuck in the blame game, our mental health suffers because we get stuck in negative energy and cycles of victimhood, which helps prevent us and others from becoming heroes of our story or the story. We can all be heroes, and this is when acceptance and positive relationship with reality and a resilient mindset is going to be crucial. To be resilient, we should find the invincible summer within us and practice catching ourselves in moments where we are thinking or feeling drained or down. To think greater than what you feel in those moments. When those moments come, accept how you feel without necessarily trying to force it away, but do something positive in exactly those moments, whether it is to wash the dishes, go for a walk, anything to break up the mental pattern and engage with something present that is good for you or good for someone else. Your mental health will improve because of that rewiring. The new pathway of creating like a pick-me-up mentality will bring more positive feelings and experiences. This will become an amazing habit to help keep your mental health at a positive state overall. Resilience is about neuroplasticity and it's actions and active rewriting of the mindset through the narratives we tell ourselves that will help build it. It will serve you as a habit in terms well, in times of mental health struggles, but also help you become an efficient functioning person even when you're at your mental best. Remember, there is your brain and then there is also you. Your brain is part of who you are and like a computer, it can be programmed and wired in ways that can serve you or go against you. One of my favorite psychology quotes is that, our brain is a powerful servant and a dangerous master. It's good to be or it's good to aim to be in a state of balance where you and your brain are on the same page. When it isn't, that's when the anxiety, stress and depressions manifest themselves like warning signs something isn't right. So instead of being afraid of poor mental health or those uncomfortable moments where we experience poor mental health, let's use them as indicators that there is something about us that's out of balance that's pushing us towards finding solutions for a healthy mindset and therefore a positive mental health state.